Hello, ladies, gents, and blazing fast hyper runners in honor of the brand new, amazing Kenny Jump Any Percent War Record. Don't let me not link it. I forget all the time to do things that I'll do in the comments in the video because I I fire off all the dialogue and then it evaporates from my mind. And sometimes I don't even bother to watch the video to see whether there's any kind of problem or anything. I'll just process it and post it and hope for the best. So don't let me forget that I need to put a link to the new world record from Kenny Job. It's absolutely just idiotic. <laughs> the speed at which uh, with that man can play the video game is incredible. There will be, should be a link in the corner up there and in the description. This is not the right way. Uh oh. <laughs> I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> Perhaps I froze slightly. Uh, I may, it may have been a problem of freezing like a buffoon. Oh man, I'm so used to the restart in in Splunky 2, but I have to do it like this and then hit the Z. No, D. There you are. There you are. Some awesome D to restart this silly nonsense. I'm going to humiliate myself for the next 30 minutes in honor of the GOAT of the Splunky HD speedrunners. I believe it is currently Ivory. Please, uh, I will one day not butcher your name, I apologize. Uh, that has the Splunky 2 world record, but Kinney Jupp is the uncontested GOAT. And he, I think it's a minute 35. And you watch this thing and you don't, don't even understand what's going on because it's just non-stop teleporter. Non-stop teleporting all the way to the end. Found a teleporter plus jetpack plus compass plus... Oh my goodness. Plus pickaxe shop in 1-3 and he was off to the races after that. It was just absolutely glorious. And it just made me want to speed run the video game a little bit just for 50 percent of it is to show how actually extremely difficult it is You're, i want you to watch that run and then watch this run or you know the order doesn't matter watch this session of humiliation and see just how actually incredibly difficult it is to get through these levels Kenny Jump makes it look like it's completely effortless. Like, oh, you just hit the teleport button a couple times and you make it to the exit. What's the big deal? Psh, what are you, a, a buffoon? But no, it actually takes an insane amount, not just of skill, of which he has an incredible amount, but just knowing the way that Splunky is shaped. You need to have such a heartfelt feel for how the levels are generated. Oh, wow, that was fortunate. I chose the wrong path because the, the damn cobwebs delayed me. So it was, it's just, uh, just make me wanna speed run a little bit on our, also the, the long, long departed series of sp speed runs forever. Wasn't that a lie? <laughs> well, you just thought that it wouldn't be uninterrupted. And that's the problem. Oh, oh no, <laughs> oh no, oh no, <laughs> mistakes, mistakes are made, there you go, just still in it, still in the game, baby, this speedrun is going places, don't worry, when I'm at 1 HP is when I do my best work, don't worry about me, I mean, why not, right, it is the black market right here, might as well, we may even find some incredible materials in the black market, I am not, uh, teleported kind of person in the sense that I will just humiliate myself. This black market is just full unadulterated ass <laughs> and I have thrown myself into a pit of uh, piranhas just out of spite. Seeing that black market was just uh, soul crushing. Might as well end it all at that point. 
Uh, wonderful news. Uh, wonderful news for you that hopefully will bring the videos on the channel to a much more regular schedule. And that is... Amazon's coming to town, baby! I am... You may not be aware. It is possible that you have just stumbled, stumbled upon this speed running and you have no... <laughs> you have no idea. I work for the post office. It's a mail carrier. And you have not heard me bitch and moan and complain about the non-stop, insane, never-ending stream of packages that pass through my hands. It is truly flabbergasting. You need to be there to believe it. People that come in as new hires, they're like, I had no idea it was like this. I could not have imagined you guys have, like, literally a stuffed truck of packages every single day and then you go back for more every single day <laughs> it's a non-stop ode to consumerism finally amazon is opening a hub september 6th is supposed to happen september 6th i believe when i see it september 6th my ordeal shall end good luck to them I hope that they make all kinds of profit and that the post office revenue goes down the drain for all that I care. Psh, I don't give a crap. My job security is guaranteed by my contract. So there is no, there's no getting rid of me. Dayjoy. That is the name of the current postmaster. Uh, if you are not up to the postal lore. Um, I, mean, I, I, I must be careful with the words that I say for I am literally sworn not to disparage the post office and the public eye and i am still wearing the uniform because i don't change when i go home i change when i shower my ass that's about the moment that i change what do you think i have infinite shirts to stain and and sweat into you have no idea about the deep lore of my sweat problems if that's the case holy crap man the, the amount of nonsense that i am going through here is absolutely idiotic uh, collection of deaths. Oh, <laughs> I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate the level of difficulty that is being thrown in my face. At least you get to appreciate truly how complicated and, and blessed it is to get a good run in this speedrun experience. I am no slouch. You may be fooled by what you're witnessing right now, thinking that I am a absolute zero i'm not going to pretend like i am a massive awesome speed runner but i think my record is three minute 30 around that part i forget how exact the exact number but it is i believe sub four for certain i don't remember much more after that but if my vague memory serves i want to say it's 327 uh, I will have to visit the archives to get you a, a proper net number. So while I'm not going to break a world record anytime soon, three minutes, 30 seconds to, to beat Spelunky HD, that ain't no walk in the park, buddy. I have done my time. I have pushed my skill level to the max to get myself a decent speed run. You know, give myself some gamer cred right there. Woo so, I'm saying, I'm saying, I have put in some effort. Anyway, back to talking about the post office, which is extremely, ex <laughs> what is, what is everybody coming, comes for? My spiels about the post office, the, the, the tell all when I finally leave it, it's going to be glorious, man. It will be, it's going to be a postal series with actual names and last names. And one thing I do, sue me for defamation, I'll be in the Maldivas. I'll be in Bermuda Triangle by the time they try to get to me. The IRS will have no idea what hit them. They will not be able to extradite me. It will be a absolute win. No, this is not the way. Anyway, that is not, uh, I have divulged too much about my master plan. What I'm trying to say is that I was in the middle of saying that uh, they really do make you do an oath when you start at the post. I mean, I don't know if it's the, the case anymore. When I started, there was an oath of office. 
I am supposed to never disparage the post office in front of a camera. Never go on record. I don't think I've done that in any official capacity. Honestly, I, I don't quite remember the oath, but there is there is an oath. <laughs> I did take it. Uh, supposed to be taken seriously. Uh, there was some chuckling and snickering at the time. It's was like, you scumbags, the, the drill instructions say. You scumbags, the post office is serious business. The mail is sacred. The sanctity of the mail shall not go violate. Therefore, you must make this swearing upon... What is this? Bruh, <laughs> it's not right. It ain't right. Absolute madness. But hey, we landed on the jelly. <laughs> Have you ever seen a um beehive that spawns right there in the main path? I'm pretty sure it's a thing that happens often. But I cannot remember seeing it before. At least in a recent path. <laughs> Man, this one's going well. This one's going well. Have I taken any points of damage? I'm not sure. I haven't even kept track. I'm too blazing fast. I've... Oh yeah, I did take a whole bunch. Ooh. I did take a whole bunch of damage. Propitious. Auspicious. As Lady Zell would say. All right, what you got here? What you got here? Bunch of explosives. No jetpack. I mean, I could have possibly gone and looked. But that takes time, buddy. Why am I erasing? It is such a such a habit to erase the cobweb that I wasted like two seconds doing that. Mm. I could have gone and looked for the other shop that I didn't see. Okay, we gotta kind of wait. The exit is here. Don't worry about it. We know the shape of buildings. We know how the ice caves work. We know where to go and how to crack it open. Pretty upsetting level. What the hell just happened? We're right in this all the way to the bottom. Ah, what a nightmare. Ah, oh, picked the wrong side. Oh, I wanted to hit you. Yo! <laughs> this is unfortunate. This is so unfortunate. That was like the worst place to land. The mistake was not at the bottom. At that point, my fate was truly sealed. The mistake was dropping without knowing where I was going. In the ice caves, that's what will get you. Even after I just bragged about knowing the shape of the ice caves. I'm too foolish. Too freaking foolish. Anyway, bottom line of what I was saying is that I might be finally able to shed the 20 million hours of overtime I've been doing at the day job, finally get some regular days off again, and go back to a regular uploading schedule, get more than one Spelunky video out there every week. Holy crap. <laughs> Somehow managed to avoid that horrible disaster. Good stuff, good stuff. Get me out of here. Like this right now, what you're seeing right now is after a full day, 10 hours of work, I still come home and I'm like, I'm going to do some recording. I must speak about the truly magnificent labor of the goat. And I just really felt like speed, run speed running. I'm not, you're not going to stop me. I am slightly delirious and nonsensical in the things that I'm saying. Oh, no, you have noticed that I <laughs> slightly unhinged. That's what 10 hours of postal work will do it to you, okay? Talk back to me when you apply at the damn place and you spend your life being a newbie. You'll see. You'll see how it's just incredible that I have managed to keep this level of sanity for this long you will appreciate the things that come out of my mouth that's right that's not gonna happen we kind of had to bomb our way down i think unfortunate this is not even the way through i'm too stupid <laughs> might as well get the point of health uh, and my incredible 30 second bruh my incredible 30-second ju uh, jungle level, wow. 
great speed running material. At this point, just getting to the end is the entirety of the, the objective. What happens? What happens if you spend more than... Oh, man. Why you have to do this to me? <laughs> oh, I thought for sure that I had it. What a nightmare. It's all right, all right. We got this. <laughs> we got this thing under control. I am going to complete that end, aren't I? And there is just no escape. Look, I'm going to hang on. I'm going to hang on to this run, even though it's a complete disaster. Uh, there, anyway. It was a foregone conclusion. I'm going to walk straight to spikes. I don't know why I go this way when it's obvious that there's no exit this way. Anyway. It really does bring back the old times, don't it? The speed runs forever. It was never promised that they will continue happening, happen in a regular interval. All that was promised was that there would be no end. This is not the way. I guess we're spending a bomb to get through here so that we can also spend a bomb to get to the back of this shopkeeper. Then we can use the freely giving, basically, product of product of divine intervention this shotgun that suddenly showed up like oh you seem to be in trouble here take this <laughs> excellent excellent outcome to the things that i was doing well what an opportunity to obliterate the opposition yeah sure it may look like i am wasting a lot of time and i am but for a guy like me this is actually this is actually a massive time, sa time saver. An unfortunate shopkeeper. Sure, it looks like a disaster right now. This 30 plus second mines level. But check out how we're going to blaze through the rest of the run with zero mistakes. It's going to be amazing. You're going to witness it, please. Allow me to go down. Very happy to have these extra bombs. For this is a possibility that just happened. I could have stomped them and gone through the exit, but that would have been quite a challenge. It is so easy when you stomp the guy at the exit. Oh man, this is bad. Don't worry, the second bomb will get him real good. It did not get him real good. <laughs> when this happens, just, just go straight to the exit, hit that exit button and just Hope for the best, that's about the extent of your options. And sure, you, oh man, this guy's gonna rain upon me. So we, we gotta rush through there. So, uh, didn't I tell you? Yeah, I tell you, we even have a freaking arrow pointing at the exit. I don't like this fella. I don't like this fella one bit. Woo! <laughs> but. All the time we spent getting this jet back out of the shopkeeper's grubby hands. Totally saved. I mean, surely nothing bad will happen to me if I go this way, right? Oh, there you go. This maniac. He is very well protected. Ugh. Oh, baby. I really should have been, had a, a little bit more of a ball sack and gone straight to the exit this way, huh? I was going to go to the left, but the arrow don't lie. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah. Oh, man, look at me. Instead of telling you stories and nonsense, actually focusing. Oh, come on. The fistful of soggy chooch. I can't believe it. Oh, shush! <laughs> A nightmare? Takes it. Oh, oh, that's right. There's a. I was tunnel visioned. I was so focused on. Oh no, the Yeti, the Yeti, the Yeti's gonna come. That the shopkeeper coming all over my face. I completely spaced it out. And I was heading straight to the arrow, dude. It was such an easy uh, shot down range. That would have been the easiest way to do it. Well, easiest way to dispose. Of the monster. That line with the soggy chooch uh, distracted me. That's the problem. Long, long time ago, I edited the 
text of the video game. And sometimes I, I've completely forgotten what I wrote. So <laughs> it just surprises me sometimes. Oh, what? Excuse me. It didn't get impaled. I thought that if the spider drops on any side of that, it gets impaled, but clearly not. It needs to drop in like in the middle, kind of into the spikes. That was some kind of some kind of weird cheating right there. At least it still got it with where the whipping is concerned. Uh, all right, looking good, looking good. We have not pissed off shopkeeper juice yet, so we can keep on going. Asked Kenny Job, when you see that blessed, hallowed shop with the optimal setup, which is jetpack, compass, teleporter, and the pickaxe, like the, it even gives you the tool to get rid of the shopkeeper easily. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, do you like continue as an unfeeling machine, or is it still? a massive shot of adrenaline and it's like oh hell yeah it's uh because he knows the value on, and the rarity of such a shop oh man come on he knows the value and the rarity of such a shop so he's like oh here's my chance to literally break the world record so it's like <laughs> you start <laughs> just trembling sweaty palms mom spaghetti it is uh you know what, Adam, you're coming with me. You're giving me a wet, sloppy kiss in the mouth. Because uh, I have done, I have committed mistakes. I have done bad things in my time. You son of a whore! <laughs> Blue Frog, man. No wonder we had that meme going forever of Blue Frogs being overpowered. <laughs> Such a pain in my ass. I, you know, these runs are actually doing okay. My bar for a good HD speedrun is, did you make it out of the mines? Then you're successful. You're, you're a good speedrunner today. That's about, uh, you know, that's the, the bar to clear. So, and most of these runs are getting out of the mines. Most, uh, what would I say, at least 50%. I am been keeping count, but I think we've made at least a 50% mark of these speedruns making it. Don't worry about it. It's all gonna work. I'm, I'm kind of a little weirded out that that was full damage, but I'll take your word for it, Derek. Man, that was easily a a good shop to rob. Thing is, when you're doing speed runs, your threshold for robbing it does go a little bit higher than a shopkeeper exists. Ah. Oh. Usually, my decision making of killing a shopkeeper is, does shopkeeper is, exist? If yes, then murder. But uh, when speed running, I'll just go for, I think I'll do it for spring shoes. I'll do it for a jetpack, of course. That's about it. I forget, it wasn't the third. I completely forgot. Uh -oh. <laughs> Which item? You are supposed to bomb from. I think it's the fourth. Wow, I actually made the jump, but then backpedal thinking that I didn't make the jump. Anyway, we grabbed some climbing shoes. This, I mean, climbing gloves. That is just awful. But I'm gonna stick with it. Because why the hell not? I have no, no value sunk. It's all a matter of throwing enough numbers at the board and one of these runs will make it please this dog please <laughs> it's all right it's all right we don't need to worry about this guy he said while getting absolutely murdered uh, like i said when you stomp this guy you have to do it carefully or the shotgun is going to stun you into oblivion oh man that was terrible eating those cobwebs how freaking weak packle he has just gone old is the problem. He can't even get his way through some silly ass cobwebs. Do you have any idea how many I've walked through? They are like nothing. All they are is like a, a nuisance. You can walk through a cobweb no problem. I don't know what what Paco's deal is. 
I mean, sure, these spiders are the size of a horse and they secrete a web that may as well be nautical ropes, but pretty much the same thing as your ver garden variety spider web. So just get with the program there, Packle. I really thought that I was uh, gonna get poisoned there. <laughs> Not a thing in HD. That's a thing that still catches me off guard any time that a scorpion hits me. Uh, remembering that, oh, poison is not a thing in HD. Oh, man, this is, this is a curse. This is awful. I think we can do both, though. There you go. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Hey, whoa, whoa. Just too much nonsense in the way. This is a terrible level. Hey, no damage received. That is good enough for me, baby. I'm telling you, don't let me forget to link the thing. I am so bad at it. Wah, wah, baby. These are the most awesome black market spawns I've ever seen. And nothing ever comes out of it because these shops are ass. Uh, never mind. This shop is amazing. Why am I? Why? <laughs> <laughs> I did not think that through. <laughs> did not think that through. Let's just not even do any comment about it because uh, there was like zero thought involved. It was just me being like, I want this stuff and I'm gonna, I'm gonna start being violent about it. I uh, did, not, did not really uh, put it through the, through the brain pan, that one. It was not my best moment, not my best decision making. Sometimes I just see red, and it just needs to happen. And damn the consequences. That's why I'm fugitive in three of the United States of America, Guatemala and Madagascar. Don't ask me what happened in these places. Ask the Interpol. They'll tell you all about it and, and give you very stern warnings about not watching this content or maybe... You know, giving tips, but you wouldn't betray me like that, would you? You would not. I'll make sure of it. And that you pay a dear price if you were to betray me. Anyway, I don't know. Please, please let me go. <laughs> let my people go. Great, great job. I'm giving the arrow the great job. That was a truly magnificent way of humiliating me. Truly impressive. Is it truly impressive? Probably was a extremely predictable way to die, but either way. Maybe we'll make it to the temple to the Ah, oh, I thought for sure I had time there. Maybe we'll make it to the temple. That'll be that'll be a wonderful thing. When you make it to the temple, it's an easy thing to make it all the way to, to Olmec. Extremely easy. I wonder how easy it is to do the fast Olmec with the four bombs. I see, <laughs> I see Kinejab do it, and it actually looks quite easy, but I'm sure it's simply that the man has a couple thousand hours just on an Omic fight. So he has it down to the millisecond, the timing of those bombs. It looks like you just stand next to him and throw them, and it really doesn't matter where they land. But I am sure it really does matter how you throw them, exactly the moment that you throw them, the interval between the two bombs. Again, watch that speed run. And it really looks super casual, the way that the bombs are tossed. I need to look at here. Ah, it's garbage. Um, it looks super casual, but I doubt very much that that's the case. I'm sure that it's actually very, very precisely timed. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Because I've never actually looked into it. That super fast four non-sticky Olmec bombing method to get him to get all the way to the lava. Super duper mega fast. Alright, looking. Oh, yo, yo, yo. I could have whipped that, but let's use the key since it's right here. Alright. Wonder if it's worth it killing the shopkeeper for those bombs and sticky bombs. Because, you know, as a. Uh, Super noob. I do need some bombs to be able to get all the way to Olmec. Otherwise, yeah, I'm dead. Uh, otherwise, the Olmec fight is just a complete shit show. It's just not gonna happen. 
do slow all make in HD, that is a suicide mission. <laughs> it's just not, not a good idea. If unless you really want your speedrun to be an extremely shameful display of lack of skill. Of which I am giving you plenty already. So oh wow. Great stuff. Um, at least we break even here. Of which I'm giving you plenty right here. Anyway, the 30 minutes have been reached. My humiliation is complete. But, as it always was the case, I really enjoy speedrunning Splunking. So I'm like, I, I want to stop. I want to just keep going and see if maybe we can get to the temple. But, you know, I'm also the, it is 9.30 in the night, and that may sound like an early time for you whippersnappers. But for this fella right here, who needs to get up at 6 in the morning, well, it's not quite a deal breaker yet, but uh, preparations for bed must be done. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. We're almost out of the mines. We're going to make it out of the mines again. I know that we can make this happen. What was that, brother? <laughs> what was that little hop going down? I admit, I was like... Really? I was uh, too far or too close to the arrow, huh? I think I'm used to the Spelunky 2 traps where you can do that. Here, you need to give the arrow traps much water birth. Nightmare, nightmare 1-1, brother. Uh, just, just five more minutes, mom. Just five more minutes. It's fine. I'll take a nap in the afternoon. It's not a big deal. I'm getting this to work. Now, look, it needs to happen. Might as well finish strong. And by strong, I mean going full force into a wall. That is how I'm going to finish strong. Oh, yeah. By teleporting straight to a wall. You're not going to see lightning fast mass teleporting tactics in this run what you will see is nice strategic moves Ooh, baby oh that's too bad i thought that i would alert him and then teleport past him and quickly go in there but we were cursed with a max distance teleport and if I had, uh, I think I uh, teleported too early. And I only alerted him after I teleported, so he had time to punch me in the head. That's unfortunate. It was, I think, a good tactic with poor execution. Not quite a flaw in the reasoning, but in the way that I went about it. Because it was a pretty cursed area to uh, get that shotkeeper out of my way. Maybe the, what I should have done was throw a bomb. Alert him with the bomb. And, uh... Oh. Alert him with the bomb, and then teleport past him. That may have been the choice there, instead of what I did. Too freaking late now. One day, we're going to see the jungle again, and it will be glorious. Very nice. Very propitious location of that rock. Might as well grab it. Wow. Grab a rock and then let it go immediately because it was a terrible choice. <laughs> Never grab the rock. Just go with the whip all over, all the way. The whip is your absolute best tool to get through this nonsense. Easy, easy. Easiest choice of my life to use that bomb. All right. And since we have failed so catastrophically, I feel like I need to be a little bit more cautious. Slow down a little bit. Maybe we'll make it to the exit. A little. Might not be as fast. At this point, I just want to make it. Hence my enormous hesitation. Ah! <laughs> you got, got mind flooded with the spider. I was like, oh, I gotta get around this spider. Three other hazards. When fully ignored, brother with the with the parachutes, the trolling is real. Derek caught whiff. 
that I was recording HD again. It took him this long to to uh, activate his old trolling programs, you know, from remote access. He has a full access to the Steam API. He knows exactly when uh, this fella right here logs in. Sure, why not? And uh, he can file, he can just go and oh, rubbing his hands together. Mmm, I've missed this idiot. I'm ready to make him suffer. Whips up. Wow. Please let me out. <laughs> Humiliation is complete. Please. At this point, making it to the ice caves again will be. <laughs> I, let me just lower the bar a little bit longer. A little bit, a little bit closer to the floor. Maybe if I excavate a hole and put the bar in it, I'll be able to clear it. Nightmarish, brother. All right. I also have a hell run. I could not tell you what time that was. I think it was six minutes at the most. I want to say I made a five minute hell run. Don't quote me in that. I, I really don't remember. It was good enough for me to make a highlight. That's about it. Probably because like it was my only hell quote unquote speed run. But you know, it was just a shameful display of garbage compared to an actual speed running. Really, we took more than 20 seconds, huh? Ooh. I've had it with these awful spawns please get me out of here we do have spike shoes these awful spawns of the beehives have been just atrocious fortunately every time we've come out ahead i was hoping this would be the exit i'm not gonna use one of my last three bombs to get around this nonsense i'm just gonna walk I'm just gonna walk like a hobo. Ooh. Please let me out of here. Uh, there's this hobo. Uh, you know, it's just telling you what I know, okay? There's this hobo. And I'm not making fun. I'm not, I'm just telling you the reality of this person. He just like walks back and forth same road all day long one corner to the other corner of the intersections it's i don't know three four miles he will walk all the way there and then all the way back and that's just his days i'll just see him he, he always wears a coat really thick coat and it's been like 85 degrees outside this man is walking with his coat on. He has clothes under. Like, you may argue, well, maybe he doesn't have a place to to leave this coat, you privileged buffoon. Holy crap. No, he does. <laughs> he actually, you know, he's, he's like the resident hobo. He has a relationship with so many businesses. Uh, he goes in there, they feed him. I have seen people come out of their homes to just give him food. He's like, I don't want to say mascot, <laughs> slightly dehumanizing, but he's like, you know, he's part of the scenery. He's just part of the place. And it's not like he is one of those really violent, awful people. It's just, you know, uh, I have talked to him and he is missing a screw. He has a screw loose. There's something weird, um, something I've noticed in my limited experience. Holy Please get me out of here. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this is a curse. What a cursed temple level. Holy crap. In my limited experience of talking to the three hobos that have frequented my area in the past, they are all Christian zealots. They will all preach the gospel. And they don't do it like, oh, let me... Uh, let me read you a quote from the Bible. Isn't this amazing? Let's discuss this in depth and how this make you feel. No, they're just, you know, doomsday preachers in the corner kind of kind of vibe. And 
they all they all have this and it's it's, it's, it's fascinating and uh haven't never have not seen this this guy he will, they will call him john the baptist because of you know that's just what he will talk about i forgot that we were bound to these guys uh, I haven't seen him forever. He probably just did not make it through a winter. Uh, it's it's grim to say, and I did not mean to go dark with this kind of thing, but he was like a fixture for like five. Uh, I had a, a co-worker who grew up here, and he would talk to this guy in his high school. So, you know, it's he's been around for a long, long time, and I haven't seen him in the last three years. Uh, so he probably, you know, he was very old, so you can draw conclusions there. John the Baptist, though, he was quite the character. He would preach to anybody that would listen, and also to those who would not listen. Ow. Uh, myself included. It was truly the anecdote whenever we had an encounter. But the incredible thing about this guy, he would gather cardboard throughout the entire... I think I've told this story before, but it has been a while. Gather cardboard through the entirety. Like, he would scavenge it from... from dumpsters, but he would also just ask businesses for their empty boxes. He would just gather it all, put it in his cart. He would take it behind this parking lot. It was a little shelter, a little... Uh, out of the way. And he would just make the cardboard town. One day, I asked him, like, John, why you do this? Why, why, why do you gather all this cardboard? And he launched into the most amazing story about making shelters for the birds and for all the, the people who are lost and needed. Mind you, this was a, a den of spiders and filth. I want to be... Holy crap, how do you do this? <laughs> I want to be... Uh, this was a mistake. <laughs> I'm trying to stun him with ropes. <laughs> uh, as you can see, not so easy to use the pickaxe to get rid of the man and then get the jetpack. I should have just used the bog standard jumping bomb tactic, but I saw the pickaxe and I was like, this is my chance. This is my chance to do it. I should have just looked away and killed him. There was so many ways to deal with that and I used the absolute worst John the Baptist making an incredible shelter for the birds and the people in need. Because, you know, they need a spider-infested <laughs> cardboard shantytown. Long story short, he was a very unstable individual. He had, oh yeah, he told me all about his wars. His wars with the police because the police will come. And tell him, John, you can't be doing this. This is a, a fire hazard, which absolutely was. This is just a, a terrible mess that you're doing here. Please stop. And they would clear it maybe once every two, three years when he got completely out of control. Him, the man would rebuild. He would rebuild. It was like a hurricane passed through, and he's not going to move. He's going to rebuild cardboard shantytown. Ow. But ever since I haven't... Oh, man. Oh, baby. Get you in. Okay, this is it, buddy. Ah, I didn't mean to grab the climbing gloves. They will kill us. Absolutely. Will absolutely kill me. But don't worry about it. We have a shotgun in our hands. Uh, everything will be fine. Um, ever since it disappeared, they cleared it one last time. And the cardboard never returned. So, you know... It's another indication that uh, we may be out of John the Baptist. This is a nightmare. I hate it. I guess we're resorting to this. I don't know if I can call this a speedrun anymore, but don't worry about it. We're going to make up for it in the jungle because I'm definitely getting there. And then the ice caves. And then the temple. And it'll be glorious. Careful, careful, there will be a maniac. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Stomp. Alright. We gotta wait a little bit because the stomp needs to happen when he has at the bottom so that the 
shotgun doesn't destroy me. The thing is, when uh, you have the jetpack, you can just fly out of the shotgun influence. Oh, baby. All right. We're gonna make up time. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be great. Anyway, that whole hobo story went darker than I intended. I just wanted to tell you about the colorful characters. No, the colorful characters. In my everyday life, ended up talking about the the horrible fate of certain uh, less favored individuals. <laughs> and you can tell these people, you know, they had no real choice. Their brains, they had uh, a few wires crossed and they were always destined not to be your standard John Doe with 2.7 ki kids working for interior gas utility living in the suburbs, right? These people will destined either for absolute destitution or greatness. Either way, they were not going to have your average life. Maybe in a different world, they could have been the modern-day George Washington. Who knows? But either way. Either way. The harsh my mellow. That's uh, the, what I will tell you. There's one that is fairly uh, ornery. <laughs> he will yell at clouds. I literally walk around the area just yelling. Ye just yelling. And uh, woe is you if you... Holy crap. If you're trying to, you know, go into, go into an oh, I thought that was the exit. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> don't don't frog me. Uh, what is you if you're trying to go into uh, an intersection and the man is in the middle about to walk into it? Uh, he will yell at you until you are way way longer outside. He's probably going to keep yelling at you for the next for the next couple hours. Thankfully, though, he'll have forgotten all about it next time you see him. But, you know, you give this one a wide berth, lest you wish to have an altercation with somebody who has uh, very little to lose. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, getting too deep in the weeds here. Let's stop talking about hobos, start talking about my incredible speedrun redemption. That is this black market entrance for some reason the black market has been complete as like it has been another derek troll where here's the entrance to the black market wonderful things await you and every time with the exception of one where i was extremely violent for no reason and got destroyed this is a nightmare i hate it but we're sticking with it because I am sure that in 1-2, everything will be turned around. <laughs> the most awful 1-1 you could conceive. But this shop is going to make it all worth it. Don't you worry. Anyway, this is it. This is the last. I'm done. I, you may have heard this before from me. What? <laughs> Get wrecked, son! <laughs> Oh, all cal part of my calculations. <laughs> all part of my calculations. Also, I could get some nice sticky bombs. Excellent job. What a great Benny Hill chase. Can't believe that song is actually copyrighted. That was like part of my childhood. Benny Hill. Look it up on YouTube, just type it right now, Benny Hill, double N, Hill as in, you know, the mound of earth that creates a, an elevation that is not quite a mountain, Benny Hill. I can't, I can't keep going because it's super copyrighted material, they will strike the crap out of you. It's like, how can you, how dare you, this should be freaking public domain. Absolutely shameful. Get me out of here. I grew up watching that crap. It was, like, and I'm talking about five years old. It was my favorite thing in the world. When they started with the silly music and chasing each other. 
and the and Benny Hill, the eponymous character, would slap that bald guy on the head. Why am I not using bombs? Uh, slap that bald guy in the head. It will, it will go like. It will. Ah! <laughs> Got a slightly distracted. Did I say it was the last one? I lied. Got a slightly distracted because I need to do the gag, but it will do that sound every time, and it will every time will be just the most delighted laugh of my childhood self. And I went to use that music, got a freaking copyright strike. But these evil corporate demons that own. That music. How can you possibly own a piece of music like that? It's like trying to own a cloud. Own the sun. Go ahead and try to purchase the ocean. This is a, a, a gift to humanity, this song. And I cannot possibly fathom how you can keep it to your greedy self. Disgusting. I am weirded out, though, because it's, like, super old. Shouldn't it be public domain? Don't know quite how that works. But you know, all the classical music of yesteryear, that's all public domain. There's public domain, like they're even talking about uh, Mickey Mouse being public domain these days. So it's like, how can he possibly not be public domain by now? Pisses me off. Pisses me off, I say. I don't know where this came from. Oh yeah, because there was a chase that <laughs> reminded me of that. Okay, this is the last. This is the last humiliation. I wanted to make it just 30 minutes, but like so many of these episodes would. Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Like so many of these episodes would. I just get too into it. I love it. It's just so addictive. Speedrunning HD. So we'll get to also. But speedrunning HD, there's something about it that is even more... Uh, it really hooks you. Well, that was a mistake. Bruh, come on. <laughs> Leave me alone. You piece of trash. Absolute garbage. Trash, garbage, piece of crap. I hate you and I hate your family and I hope you get cancer and die.